Hey, what's up guys? I know, yes, this is the official time. Everything on the OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro is out. We have all the official images of the OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro in all the colors, as well as OnePlus releasing the teaser and confirming some of the main features of the new OnePlus 8 lineup. They will be announcing these devices officially on April 14th, which is pretty near. First up, I want to take a moment and praise the color selection of these devices. These are looking absolutely amazing. We've got all ultramarine blue, glacial green, and black color. Additionally, for the non-pro model, there's a new glow color that looks pretty good. Overall, both devices are rocking very similar design as we have talked about before, but seeing the official renders here, we do have a bit of a difference in the display area. So if you look at the non-pro model, it's actually more flat, whereas the pro model definitely has more of a curve on the side, which will give the pro model more of a premium look. The other difference is with the screen size, you're getting the bigger 6.7 inch display with the non-pro model, as well as a brand new 5 megapixel color filter lens, which we have not seen before. So it's going be interesting to see how it's gonna work in real life situation now speaking of camera the oneplus 8 pro is rocking some serious stuff so we have the main 48 megapixel lens in addition to an industry standard high resolution 48 megapixel ultra wide angle lens with a 120 degree field of view, 8 megapixel telephoto lens that will give you 3x optical zoom and 30x digital zoom along with a 5 megapixel color filter. There's also an upgraded 3 HDR video, new night portrait mode, cinematic effects and a better optical image stabilization. With the non-pro model, OnePlus is not giving you that 48 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, instead you just get 16 MP which is again fine. But the main lens is the same as the pro model which is great and of course you do get the zoom lens of 2x on the non-pro model. Now what I'm going to talk about now is the most exciting thing about the OnePlus 8 lineup. The OnePlus 8 Pro is coming with a 120s display combined with a custom MEMC chip. This chip will upscale the refresh rate of the existing content that you'll be watching on your phone like videos, whatever, to 60 frames per second and even all the way up to 120 frames per second as the CEO said. And this is something that we have seen with high-end TVs all the time. So not only does your phone will be smooth, the videos you will watch will be smooth as well. I'm pretty sure we have not seen this on any other smartphone. There is Oppo Find X2 with the same kind of functionality. There's an Ultra Vision engine on the Oppo Find X2 Pro. If you turn it on, it's going to boost all the content to 60 frames per second. In my opinion, it's an absolute killer feature. I can't wait to see the results. Now, I've been enjoying the display of the Galaxy S20 Ultra, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing like this installed on the S20 Ultra to boost the content to a higher frame rate. So this will definitely set the OnePlus 8 family to a different level. Now with the Pro model, you're also getting the 30 watts of wireless charging, which is one of the highest in the industry, as well as 30 watts of wired charging. And for the first time, you're also getting reverse wireless charging feature on these OnePlus flagship phones. The Snapdragon 865 will be running the show. All in all, these phones are looking absolutely exciting. There's going to be a third model as well called as OnePlus 8 Lite light there is no official renders for that phone at the moment because most likely oneplus will be launching that phone later down the year for now oneplus 8 and 8 pro are looking absolutely sharp let me know your thoughts on the official design as well as the new camera features and the upscaling with the memc chip do you think it's game changer drop your comment and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out